good morning and good evening wherever you are in the art world. Today we are starting a breakfast or almost brunch with the artist Lorenzo Puglisi. Ciao Lorenzo, how are you? Very well. Good morning Carolina. Thank good you for morning. this chance. Thank you to you. Last year we were in Firenze in uh, when we last uh, I, I met you in with a wonderful crucifixion. Oh yes. In, with in Santo Spirito in Firenze with your crucifixion and Michelangelo crucifixion. And today yes. you are in Riga at the Museum of uh, Riga Burse. Art with, Museum Riga Burse. Si. With Tintoretto and a portrait of a man. Wonderful. Exactly, exactly. We had this uh, special um, borrow, this um, gift from Eike Schmidt, the director of the Fizzi Galleries. Yes. Uh, that lent us this Tintoretto portrait. Yes. Uh, it's coming. The, the curator is coming, which are the Sassoli, the Bianchi Strozzi. He's coming now. Ah. Then uh, will, he will come with me. Yes. And um, Eike Schmidt was so generous to, to borrow us this uh, portrait. And uh, the self portrait acquired by the Uffizi from Omar Galliani. Yes. And my self, self portrait acquired by the Uffizi Galleries as well. Yes. So this, this um, exhibition is particular because uh, the curator called it uh, self reflection. It's a very important uh, attempt to turn one's side towards oneself. Yes. With the portrait, the self portrait, and even the normal painting. Yes, and it is also very important because it is dedicated, this exhibition, to the Italian art of the past and present and future, and is a great, great gift to the Latvian viewers and tourists from all over the world visiting Riga and not, as, as we are from Zurich, uh, on the occasion of the 10th anniversary of the Riga Bursa Art Museum. Exactly, with the support of the Italian embassy, Yes. and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Exchange from Italy. So, and Lorenzo, you are at the in, in at the you are here. I introduce you, yes. Richardo Sassoli, Hello. Good morning. Carolina Hello. Conforti. How do you do? How do you do? She's so nice to hold uh, this uh, connection for us. Now, if you follow me, yes, I we are following you. That's yes, as and if we, we are there. As if we are there. Yes, as we are there, we enter the Art Museum Rigabors yes. here in Riga, in the central dam square. And here we have uh, two interviews from me and Omar Galliani, two videos made by the Italian director. Yes. And then there's this corridor. It's and a beautiful building. It's a beautiful, beautiful building. Beautiful building, yes, from the 900. In fact, is a Made is built with a uh, Venetian Renaissance style, that's why yes. Pintoretto Renaissance Masters is a uh, well fit, yes, apart from the exhibition. And this is the main hall where we oh. made the exhibition. Making it looks wonderful, yeah. We did it in this way just to use this natural, uh, how can I say, beautiful uh, screen. Is already all the exhibition is already here, ready. We just in put your, our paintings. Lorenzo, your paintings are impressive, but also from, from uh, you know, they're uh, from Omar Galliani. They are so monumental. Yes, they're very big. Yes. They're very big. And uh, actually three meters per two each. Yes. Apart Lorenzo, from the self portrait. Yes. Slowly, slowly, sorry, just because we want to just check all, you know, sure. get sure. the, the <laughs> thank you. This yes, is yes. live from Lorenzo, so it's uh, it's already so kind to give us this preview. Today, your exhibition starts in the afternoon. The yes, Renaissance. there will be a press uh, conference in uh, one hour. Yes. With the television and uh, all the journalists. Yes. The, emb and the ambassador and the Marzia yes. Fayetti, the yes. director yes. of uh, the cabinet of uh, Disegni from the Uffizi Galleries with Vanessa. She's uh, from Uffizi Gallery as well. Yes. And, uh, so we are very thankful to all of them, to Daika Okanieche, the directors of the museum as well. And uh, I'm Thank showing you, you just yes. the atmosphere. And now little by little, I can yes. show you the paintings. Yes, please, because we, you know, I, 
I, you know, I adore your, the, you know, your use of black and with these glimpses of white, it brings, you know, as if it's a dance of, uh, of, uh, of different, uh, your hands, heads, and it's, it's so uh, touching. Um, you're very kind as usual, Carolina. Thank you. Lorenzo, this you're, work, you're a master, a master. No, no. come on. <laughs> this, this first work is, um, um, it came from the vision of this masterpiece from late Titian, his late painting, La Pietà. And this, uh, it was painted with this rough manner, this beautiful rough manner. And what I try to, to do is my own vision of this with um, all the figures. Yes. Trying to get to the essential of representation, but the figure of Christ here is not dead, as you can see. Yes, because you see maybe... what is very important, Lorenzo, because we, um, for all the viewers, is your, your, your eyes, even though you, it seems that there are no, uh, you know, from there, uh, the expressions of your figures are overwhelming, bellissime. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of uh, unusual. It's uh, something never seen before, this way of representation. So I don't know if it's good at all, but for sure, something new. So then we pass through this, this painting I love so much. is the inspiration of St. Matthew from Caravaggio, where simplicity, again, is the key, because this man, so blessed, he couldn't not even read. And so it's a paradox. I think the grace helping good man and is the same of the mercy and other paintings is always the same thing yes. something comes always from above us if we are ready to receive it if we are open to receive it and again here the painting is particular because the hand is made with nothing i'm always surprised maybe it's not nothing special but to me it looks and resemble a hand and uh, yes. and still there is no naturalistic representation, no classical representation. And in a way, I think it works for showing this figure. It is, it is, uh, it is really extraordinary. And the other thing that I, I loved is uh, this exhibition as uh, the cur uh, curator, Astrida Rogule, would like to make us reflect, as you said, on the act of the artistic creation, where the artist inner world, which is your world, is represented, uh, sublimate even the outer world in the form of himself. It is uh, uh, bellissimo. La annunciazione is... is uh, yes, this is my personal homage to Tintoretto with this painting of him that it's a masterpiece, of course, that touched me so much. La annunciazione. This is my, my work, my painting. And, Again, Lorenzo, how how long? Because you know you have organized this during this incredible months of uh, very difficult. How how was all the organization? Oh, it was hard. The first time I came to Riga as a guest yes. was two years, two two and a half years ago, to prepare the exhibition. It was supposed to open on May the eighth last year, but yes. then we were lucky enough that all the exhibition included <laughs> big contemporary artists like. Ian Fabre was supposed to close the exhibition before us. All the work canceled, all except this one <laughs> that was just postponed. So we were very lucky and we are here now to open it today. Even if it was such a long time and such an effort because we decided again, they decided again to make it four months ago and in four months to, to organize an exhibition is something almost impossible. But we were so lucky with the support of everybody working so hard, the embassy, the museum, the Uffizi yeah. galleries, and the Tetereb Foundation, I forgot to mention that uh, uh, was a sponsor here. The Tetereb Foundation is a foundation here in Riga for arts, yeah. and they really cover all the expenses for the transport of uh, the insurance of Tintoretto, yeah. which is worth 15 million euros, <laughs> even if it's such a small canvas, I, I'm, I'm wrong, painting on panel. Do you think we can go now nearby, even though they are they are interviewing the curator? They are on national TV, but ah, I can. Okay. <laughs> ecco, che bello.
if we are silent, I go, I go very close. Yeah, I don't speak. I don't say one word. Yes. Ciao. <laughs> Buongiorno. This is the Tintoretto masterpiece. Che bello, mamma mia, è bellissimo. Of course, would be the portrait of a young man. Che emozione. This is Omar Galliani's masterful yes. self-portrait. Yes. The stars from outside are inside him. This is all the drawing with pencil on a wood panel. Omar is a great master of drawing. One of the greatest in the world, truly. This is a work we exhibit together in front of Caravaggio. It's the seventh work of mercy. We recreate the atmosphere of Caravaggio's painting, the crossing of the streets, but then he's, he, he, he put all these symbols scattered on the surface of the panel, the symbols of the seven work of mercies. All this is made with a simple pencil on a wood panel, you can imagine. How masterful this is. Yes. This is Omar Galliani's work, which I have the honor to share three exhibitions already together because we have uh, the same root to tradition. Yes. And we have uh, this deeply connection. So it was, uh, Lorenzo, was it an idea of the curator to combine the both of you or your idea or an idea well, that cre was created together with well, the as, three of you. As every as everything in my life, it happens. Because uh, six years ago, I was invited uh, to an exhibition yes. uh, by a, a curator. It was not so nice because he told me 48 hours before the <laughs> deadline. He said, oh, if you want to do this, you have to paint something about water. Echo. And let me tell you, I, I hate these kind of things when there is a team, because I'm not a scholar anymore. <laughs> and so I was driving back from Milan to Bologna, where I live, and uh, suddenly this image of Caravaggio's work, Narcissus, came to my mind and said, I will do that. So I went to the studio, and for 48 hours I tried, and this, this Narcissus, two meters wide, high and two meters wide, came up, yeah. and I could see the, the line of the water was there in the dark because there was one head and two ends and another head reflecting with the other two ends down. And uh, when I went to the opening, uh, the curator came to me and said, hey, Maestro Omar Galliani saw your work and would like to know you. Okay. So we start talking and we become friends and then one thing and another, he, we, we talk about an exhibition together and we make this exhibition about Caravaggio in Palermo at Museum Rizzo. And I make it double in Naples, asking a curator from Naples to have the possibility to exhibit in front of Caravaggio. And then here we are, because Mark Gisborne, a curator, an English curator based in Berlin, which with whom I make the, the, the um, exhibition in Santa Maria delle Grazie two years ago, and the Archie Chance book, Peter, yes. speak about our work to the curators here, and they really invite us to do this exhibition. That's quite uh, simple, it's just happened. So yes, but the break most beautiful things happen by, by, <laughs> by coincidence. Yes, I mean, I don't think it's coincidence, but it's not uh, pushed in any way, just was supposed to be. <laughs> yes. That's my experience, what, how things happen. And this was the, the work I was talking about, Caravaggio's Nativity, which was stolen in Palermo. So when Omar talked about Palermo, I asked him, oh, is there any ancient painting there which could be interesting to work with? Oh, he said, yes, uh, this, that, and that, and that, there's a Caravaggio. Caravaggio? Oh, okay. And so the exhibition became a big absence of this work in Palermo and a strong presence of another work, the seven work of mercies in the Pio Monte in Naples. So it was a special exhibition where me and Omar this is my version. The one with the scattered symbols was Omar's. This is mine. The mercy is one, descending on man, the measure at which he opens up for a second. I can say to goodness, to being good to others. 
thing I, I never the did. Eyes, the eyes, the gaze is uh, what, you know, always strikes me in your uh, <laughs> paintings, which are, you know, even if they're small or so monumental, like now it's, uh, it's this gaze that, you know, brings you, you know, touches your soul. It's so beautiful. Uh, you are too generous. <laughs> Thank you. I no. hope uh, maybe because of, because one tenth of this effect <laughs> will no. be to, to, to the viewers. <laughs> It is, it so is, it is. But you know, as you, you know, I think it's a beautiful how you, the scenographia uh, here. It's uh, uh, with this. Uh, it works, uh, kind of works. Oscuro. Yes, and look at these this eyes. Is, ah, this incredible. is the self-portrait which Ike Schmidt was interested in. Yes. And so this is all the where it all started from this thing here because when. When I came visiting here, yes, I had this idea of uh, relate the Uffizi Gallery to the exhibition, asking for a painting, and so we went to the deposit of the six, 1600, and yes. uh, I noticed this painting of of Tintoretto's, and Omar told me he will never give it to you. You will never give it to us. Don't ask. And <laughs> I said, no, I will ask. And Mr. Schmidt is a generous person. And here we are with Tintoretto, so. Che bello, che bello. I think, you know, it's a, it's a really incredible, incredible. And, uh, yes. uh, you know, just to see uh, live such a, an incredible exhibition. And how long will it be, Lorenzo? It will be so... until 15 of November. Okay. Quite long, uh, an exhibition. And uh, here, Everything is uh, very well organized. Uh, they're really a country where women rule. <laughs> Let me tell you, the Ministry of Culture, she's a, a lady. The directoress of the Five National Museum, she's a lady. The directoress of the museum here, again, and the curator. And uh, I mean, just uh, an incredible environment. So serious and so professional and so gentle, really touching. Let me tell you. Bellissimo, bellissimo. I am so glad to hear that. And we, we hope to, you know, to join you one day or actually to come to Riga. Uh, for, uh, hopefully you will be there, but I think you are uh, not so, not for this at no. the end of... Uh, I'm out back already, yes, but there's a flight from Milan, it's a couple of hours, Air Baltic is very comfortable, Riga is beautiful, other museums are stunning, there's a private, uh, the, the private, the public library, they built 10 years ago, it's something unbelievable. <laughs> so there's many reasons to come here. It's really a beautiful country. Lorenzo, you have a very busy day today because you're the, the uh, Verissage and all the press release. Yes, uh, but I mean, I'm for you. And until you want, I'm here. And <laughs> it's my pleasure. And I thank you very much, Carolina, because you're so kind to me all the time. So thank no, you. No, but it's, a, it's, a, it's an honor, it's an honor. Uh, uh, Lorenzo, can we, can we uh, maybe, do you think yep. the curator or can we see you one second? So you yes, can, sure. can show, eccolo qua. I put Lorenzo. myself, so I look important, I put myself close to Tintoretto. <laughs> <laughs> even if you don't even have the, the white of the eyes in common. Yes, yes, especially the gaze. Uh, ecco, tutti flash. No, no, just, just telling that, just the white of the eyes. As everybody. <laughs> and Lorenzo, how, how do you feel? Because as I said, the last time we were in Firenze, in Santo Spirito, with this, again, another, you, you combine the, our history in such a, uh, with a thread of continuity, which is fantastic, I think, you know, because uh, it's always to look at the, in your own words, uh, you, you bring our past uh, together, which is, uh, really again touching to to remember and to continue and to in into a, a different key it yes of course and i can tell you that uh Fritzi gallery is so generous that we will have an exhibition in florence uh, in a few months i don't know next year probably but then the attempt my private attempt yeah. in painting is now public so i don't know if it's good or not but i have the chance to exhibit it that for a painter is everything is important so I'm glad and I'm grateful to everybody and to luck as well, because yes. that's why I'm here. I'm very lucky. 
you are you are you are you are because you you i think you know it's a it's a something again a very uh you know to bring our and to keep our traditions it's it's very important and especially you know now that we are a bit uh, we were a bit lost in uh, in translation through these different months and to keep always uh, in a positive like you are always and uh, and yeah uh, I try to but let me tell you i don't uh, my attempt is good because <clears throat> at the world people will say let's go and see the original one the good one <laughs> so uh, it's a kind of way to relate to the root of uh, tradition which is a bit lost nowadays in this in this world of money i like money yes but in art maybe there's something else not that money is art but in visual arts uh, and the contemporary art world is very very money and success centered but it's not bad but it, there's a lack of content that is sometimes um, uh, really embarrassing you know even with very successful people and this is not wrong for the thing in itself it's for the future generation for young people that believe that this is the way fast and uh, obtaining everything immediately astrid arugula yeah She's hello curator <laughs> good morning how are good morning. you morning. carolina conforti it's an honor to have you with us today thank you <laughs> Thank you. We, we you are very grateful to Astrida because, yes, she worked so hard and she made this possible. So we are very grateful to her. And uh, really, we have no words to make oh, it. Complimenti, compliment. <laughs> <laughs> so here is one more chap. John. And here is yeah, Vita. 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 Yeah. Hello. Without her again. Yeah. Have... So, uh, girl power. Girl power. Right? Girl we are power. all girl power. <laughs> I, I told her, I told them already. And without her, we don't have no connection with Uffizi, no nothing. No. Uh, so fantastic. They, did a, they did a huge work, very difficult. Yes. And today we, we are very relaxed because we will enjoy the results. We are very relaxed the last hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, last hour. Yeah, yeah, since last. an hour. Yeah, two year and a half, a bit nervous, but now we are relaxed in an hour so <laughs> okay I, I, i have a press conference allora lorenzo grazie veramente tantissimo per farci I show you uh, painting is yes. <laughs> this are, we are sure is a masterpiece and uh, i i thank you katia also for following us everywhere we are with katia, you. thank you we, hi katia we, we will follow you every, every I miss hi you guys lorenzo congratulations Ciao. i'm following Ciao. you i'm quietly because i don't want to disturb such an important setting in your conversation but i You're enjoy it so every second it thank you, know, you so look, much it's you're a in a museum and you. we have to be quiet so yes. <laughs> yes i slept very little and i'm very relaxed now and uh, let me tell you it's a pleasure to hear your voice you and carolina <laughs> both we need to meet we have a dinner or whatever you want in Moscow, in London, well, in Bologna. <laughs> well, my, my plan is to move to Italy soon, so we will make it. And Please. absolutely. And Caroline, thank you so much for making it happen. Now I'm sitting here in Greece and looking at the sea every day. And today I have this chance to see the real masterpiece. I really missed, you know, this going to museums and see the beauty of uh, of the heritage of Italy and Renaissance. And thank you. Thank you both. Thank you, Katia, for, you know, always joining us. It's always thank a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank Lorenzo, you so much. It is a, it really a great honor uh, to have you today live. And even though that we have a chiaroscuro, the Caravaggio today, <laughs> yes. we can't see it's you. But it's how we are. Some, <laughs> sometimes dark, sometimes light. It's light. You're yeah. right. You're right. This is expressing ex uh, exactamente your, <laughs> your now book. I can try the light ecco. allora, ti lasciamo, <laughs> so thank you, grazie ti lasciamo e Lorenzo in bocca al lupo thank you so much Carolina a very big kiss, let's meet all together with, with great you, pleasure you, you both girls, ok? grazie, ciao Lorenzo thank you. Ciao. Bye. Ciao. Have a lovely bye. bye, thank ciao, you big Katia. kiss, big, good luck Lorenzo big, thank you Caterina, ciao okay. ciao, ciao. Bye. ciao. Here I am. Bye. Wow. Bye. Ciao. 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 Bye. Enjoy bye. Greece. Ciao. Bye. Thank you. Ciao. Bye. Thank you all. Bye. 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 Ciao, Katia. <laughs>